UW360 is proudly supported by BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Pacific Office Automation, copy, print, workflow, and IT. Problem solved. Take cupfuls of sugar, gallons of chocolate, put it together with hands-on care, and what do you get? Chocolates and caramels guaranteed to challenge your diet or win the heart of someone you love. These are Fran's chocolates. And yes, there is a Fran. I attended the University of Washington between 1961 and 1965. My major was business, um, primarily accounting, and in a smattering of international business courses. But back in the 60s, there were very few opportunities for women with business degrees. It was a man's world. I did various things, but never a really fulfilling career or anything that um, I could do with my, you know, accounting background. As it turns out, that's all the better for her legions of fans, one of whom, by the way, is President Obama. Fran's road to chocolate perfection started with a passion for cooking. That passion led to serious culinary classes and ultimately to her first business, a pastry shop that provided desserts to local Seattle restaurants and that sold sweets from a small storefront. As a side, she offered truffles coated with cocoa powder. I was going to do, you know, cakes and, and um, you know, full on, on desserts. That, that, was, that was my specialty. And I was doing those for restaurants around, around town. And it was, it was the customers who kept coming back for the, the truffles. It was the chocolates that really, really kept us going. Eventually, Fran hand-dipped her truffles in chocolate and offered more varieties. Then, once again, she listened to her customers. One in particular wanted high-quality, old-fashioned caramels. She convinced me that I had to, had to make caramel and that she would come back, she would support me in it. She would, you know, buy the caramels from me, do anything just if, if she could just taste one of those old-fashioned caramels. It took Fran nine months to perfect the recipe, but her chocolate-covered caramels and salt caramels are now signature Fran's products. And as her company grew, Fran phased out pastries. While she credits her business degree with giving her the skills to write business plans and handle accounting, Fran's real success is understanding what her customers want, quality and consistency. For that reason, she adheres to a hands-on, small-batch philosophy. The sugar for the caramels is hand-stirred. The truffles and other delicacies are hand-dipped. All products are hand-wrapped and hand-packed. The only mechanization is coating the caramels with chocolate, but each caramel is placed on the coating line by hand. And the salt sprinkles on those salt caramels? Those, too, get there by hand. The staff is incredible. I mean, I could never have, have brought the company to this point without, without the support and, and, and the incredible dedication of the staff. We're looking for better ways to do things. The refinement of the products keeps increasing. Um, we, we keep, you know, doing better things. And that's what they're here for, too. And, and they, they believe in that, and, and they're just um, incredibly talented. And if Fran has one final reason for her success, it is this. She's not just making chocolates, she's offering an experience. Take a minute out of your day, and enjoy what you're eating. Open the package, you know, and, and do it in a way that, that rewards you or you think you're being rewarded, and then just savor, you know, those chocolates. And that, that's what I really hope that yeah, everyone does with my chocolates.